to my feelings. I won't hear a word against them. They're easily heard. I'm afraid Christmas is something of a lost cause, Jack. Well, it depends on how it's presented. Uh -huh. If you tell people it's about peace in the world and being kind to the poor and needy, naturally nobody listens. Ah, uh -huh. the arch communicator in action. Give us a sales pitch, Jack. Virgin has sex with omnipotent alien. <laughs> Gives birth to God. Ah. I always thought the incarnation proves that God has a severely limited intellect. Ah. Who choose voluntarily to be human when you have the option of staying safely divine? Oh, think of the magic, Christopher. It's the birth of a helpless squealing creature who is also God, an all-powerful baby. Now, doesn't that satisfy your taste for the peculiar? <laughs> it's the coming of new life in the very heart of winter, when all the land is dead. The snow is falling, trees are bare. All but one, which bears fruit. Now that's real magic. I think you're being a little hard, though, on the poor and needy. No room at the inn, remember? Yes, oh, and Jack's invited them to stay with us. Really, Jack? <laughs> oh, uh, mother and child, they're upstairs. Mrs. Gresham and her son are spending Christmas with us. Oh, well, Jack, you have succeeded in surprising me. Who is Mrs. Gresham? Wait and see. <laughs> She's an American. <laughs> Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Ah, good. Let me into introduce you around, uh, Dr. Morris Oakley, yeah. the Reverend Harry Harrington, Alan Gregg, and Professor Christopher Riley, Mrs. Joy Gresham. Delighted to meet you, Mrs. Gresham. Thank you. Mrs. Gresham, how opportune. I understand you're from the United States of America. Ah, yes, I am. And then perhaps you can satisfy my curiosity on a small matter. Jack's children's stories are published in America, they tell me. Are they or are they not in translation? I don't understand. <laughs> oh. The Lion, the Witch, and the Clothes Closet? <laughs> Behave yourself, Christopher. Forgive me, Jack. Success breeds envy as ever. I don't know what to call success. Most of my friends treat my children's books as a form of juvenile dementia. Have you read any of them, Professor Riley? Oh, Jack has read extracts aloud to me. It is one of his tests of friendship. Oh. <laughs> well, he's been reading me, Sir Philip Sidney. Oh, is that more bearable? Bearable? Oh, Sydney's glorious. He is, isn't he? He has this inspired image of desire, capital D, as a baby that won't stop bawling. Sleep, Sleep baby, baby mine. mine, desire, nurse, beauty, singeth thy cries. Thy cries, oh baby, baby set mine head on aching. Yeah. I'm afraid Sydney was rather down on desire. No, 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 no. See, babies just yell until they get what they want. Mm. That's what I love about the image. It's precise. Nowadays, poets are so lazy. Some, like me, Joy, are supposed to be dragging me kicking into the 20th century. Now, I've been force feeding Jack T.S. Eliot, yeah. but even Eliot can be lazy. When the evening is spread out against the sky like a patient etherized upon a table, what kind of image is that? It could just as easily have written like a cocktail sausage upon a tray. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Jack. You seem to have found a soulmate. Christopher, I thought you believed we didn't have souls. Ah, well, now you see, I regard the soul as an essentially feminine accessory. Oh, come on. Oh. Anima! <laughs> <laughs> animals, the male variant. That's how I explain the otherwise puzzling difference between the sexes. Where men have intellect, women have soul. Professor Riley, <laughs> as you know, I'm an American and Different cultures have different modes of discourse. I need a little guidance here. Are you being offensive or merely stupid? Serves you right, Christopher. Don't be such a bully. Can I call for police protection? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Mrs. Gresham, how do you find England? Mm, cold, dull. How very perceptive, how original. And I don't much care for the weather. <laughs> Excuse me, Jack. <laughs> 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 Professor 